hello everyone uh, welcome back again so today i'm going to explain you one of the interview question which is asked in metais interview okay so where this data is for the it department where we have the employee id device type issue date and the status okay so now business are more interested to see what all the employees only holds the laptop as a device or you can say the single device as a laptop and there is no device they hold like mobile or a tab where it should be in active status okay so now we need to figure it out all the employee id so what time mean is uh, let me go to the excel so if you can see here now if you can see the employee id 101 we have the two device and both are inactive so we are not interested in this so let me highlight it with some other color okay now if you can just go ahead with the id2 we only have the laptop single device which is inactive okay this is something which we required again if we go to the 103 we have the laptop as a inactive and the tab as a active so we don't want this so let me highlight again in for 104 we have the mobile and the laptop where laptop is in inactive and the mobile is in active so we don't want this as well and at the end we have all three assigned to employee id 105 where the mobile is inactive but here the tab is active that's why we are not interested in this laptop okay but in case if it if here the tab was inactive so in that case we are interested in laptop as well okay so for as of now let's skip it as a, let me make it as a inactive so now we are expecting this record as well so what we are expecting we are expecting id 105 and 102 as our output okay so now let's go to the data bricks and we'll try to solve and also we need to make that changes so here i am trying to create a data set for required that i have tried to import the required libraries i have created the data it is the same okay so but as we have made some changes let me uh, just inactive this okay this is the data where the id device date and status is there and these are the column names which we have provided and with the help of spark create data frame function we are trying to create this data so let me execute yes we have our data ready so now this question i mean plan to solve with the help of both the method with the help of PySpark and PySQL. okay so to this to solve this question uh, I am using the approach where I can divide this data into two part or you can say the filter out and then I will perform some conditions to check the value so what I mean is first I will only try to get the active laptops okay so all the employee ID which are currently in active state okay so for that I am filtering out where the device type is laptop and the status is active okay and only selecting the employee ID let me execute so now I can see that we have the employee ID 101 102 and 105 who has the laptop assigned to them and which is in active state okay so let's confirm so yes uh, we can see uh, yeah we can see the laptop is active for 102 laptop is active for 103 and 4 laptop is inactive so we have not get this result and in 5 we have the active so yes accordingly we got our three record now the second thing we will try to figure it out all the employee IDs or you can say the distinct employee ID who holds the tablet and mobile okay here we are not checking it for if it is an active or inactive okay we are just checking dot display okay yes so now here we can say that we have 101 103 4 and 5 as well but now uh, if you can see here if you check like this we will get all this data and we are here all we will get only uh, the field ids where we have the mobile and tab is assigned but now if you can just check as per our requirement we should have only inactive uh, it should have only active details 
active mobile phone it should have or active details so let me add this condition as well where the status is active and now I can just check so here I'm not expecting 105 yes so now we have getting the correct result 101 103 and 104 for active for tablets and mobile so now if you can see we have the two data this data contains all the active laptops and these are these are the IDs where we have all the active tablets and mobile okay so now what we need to check is we need to check like whatever the data which we have it should not it should available in this data set it is nothing but the active laptop but it should not be available in this other devices data set so based on that what we are expecting here we have 101 103 and 104 id here we have 101 102 and 105 so 101 is here and here as well so as we only want with the active laptop so we are not expecting this 101 record and we can only expect the output of 102 and 105 ID okay and to just get it we need to do some left anti join so yes uh, here I'm trying to perform this left anti join based on the active laptop and other devices to get the required result so let me execute So yes, at the end we have 102 and 105 as our result. Okay, and yes, if you want to just to confirm back. So let's see here. Yes, this is our data set which we have created here. We have the active mobile. That's why we are not expecting ID 101. In here we have the active tab. So that's why we are not expecting ID 102 with active 4. We have the active mobile and but we. we in active laptop so we are not expecting that as well so but here in 105 we have active laptop but inactive tablet and mobile so that's why we are not ex we are expecting this result so yes accordingly we already cut this so yes this we can do with with the help of PySpark now we can just go ahead with spark sql just to check or write with the help of py sql sorry spark sql we have trying to just uh, create as a view okay with the help of df dot create or replace data frame okay temporary view sorry so here this data frame is nothing but the initial data frame which we have created at the first cell here okay so yes uh, let me create it hmm. yeah so i have executed let test it yes now we have this data available as a SQL as a table or you can say yeah so here what I'm trying to do is this is the query which I have written so here first I am trying to understand the inner query okay so here I am trying to get all the select all the employee with the device type in this this but also I think I need to mention the status like as we change the logic here it should be and status is active okay and if the tab is if the device is tablet or mobile and the status is active then we can store the required employee id okay and as above we done the left join or sorry left anti join similarly here what we are trying to do is we are trying to write a query where we are filtering the data where the device is laptop and the status is active and employee id should not be in this inner query okay so it is the similarly what we have done above so with the help of this two we will get a record where the laptop is active device okay and with the help of uh, this inner query we will get the employee id with the active tablet and mobile and as per the result we don't want the employee id who has uh, active devices other than the laptop so yes accordingly we will get our result let me execute Yes, so as per our expectation, we have the employee ID 2 and employee ID 102 and 105 as our output. Hope you like this and yeah, comment if you have any doubt, please comment. And if you have any new question you want me to create a video on, please uh, mention in the comment section. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you all.